Kelly here again. Hello, how do you do? Today's supposed to be the hottest day of the year today. Um, I think in Manchester it's supposed to go up to 29. I'm not sure what that is the other way around. Um, maybe high 60s, low 70s, I'm not sure. Anywho, so yeah, I'm battling the light issues. But I do have something finished. I'm dead happy to have finished something because I keep working on things, starting new things because I'm just, I don't know, I have like ADHD crafting or something, I just can't settle. I'll work on something for half an hour and I'm like, oh, don't want to do it anymore. Then I'll either start something new because I want something fresh or I'll pick up something else and just like be sick of working on that too. So yeah. I have loads of works in progress that I just need to shift but then I've got loads of things that I want to start as well so not the best is it really but anyway yeah I finished this so yeah you're gonna roll your eyes it's another chill day jacket this one's in cream and kind of like a really light peach so it's beautiful for this weather at this time of year um, light breezy colours but I've done another variation so I've done the short one with the hood I've done with pockets without pockets I've done long one with a hood without pockets like you know I just keep doing different ones so this one is a mid length and no pockets no hood but it's got this colour that goes all the way around so yeah it's lovely. I like that one. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, go on. You've got no pants on, go put some shorts on. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's that. I need to sew the ending now. I'm going to do that today. I'm going to take pictures up today and it's going to be up in the shop. So by the time you're watching this, this should be up in the shop and the link will be down below. Alright, let me shift that out of the way then. I readjust myself because I can't see oh, what's on the screen that is so much better. It really, really is. Now it's all the works in progress. Oh, the works in progress. Because I feel like if I get the old stuff out as well and show you again, then um, can we close this a bit? Is that better? I think that's a bit better. So if you get the old stuff out and show you again, then I'm kind of holding myself accountable that I have to do it. It's no longer not seen, not thought about, out of sight, out of mind. It's, okay, you've got it out, you've shown it now. You need to show it finished, really. <laughs> so here we are. Right, what's this? I don't even know what's in each bag. So... In this, uh, I've got the t-shirt I've been working on. So I've been working on this in Ice Yarn Soft Acryl Melange. Beautiful yarn to work with. I've made um, a knitted top with this and it's beautiful to knit with. It's also really nice to crochet with. I think I preferred knitting with it though. So I've done the front and the back and I just need to sew them together and then I'm just gonna do like a short sleeve like a really short t-shirt so this one is the back and look at it works all that is just beautiful and then this one will be obviously the front oh no that was the front this is the back so I'm just going to sew them up and then I'm just going to do really short sleeves and be nice actually that'll look nice what I'm wearing today with all white all white all white right so that is number one and I could get that finished today if I put my mind to it but I kind of don't want to work on it today but I kind of do because I want it finished conundrum then I have uh, this is the lacy summer short sleeve cardigan I was making so we have Mom, the back. Mom, please make some toasty. Mom, please give me. I'll make you some in a minute, okay? Um, 
um, so yeah, that t-shirt, that's, I'm not using a pattern, I'm just making it. Don't put your tablet on in here, darling, it's going to be loud. Go play it in your room. Um, and this is one that I'm working on as well, no pattern. But it's only two roll repeats, so I think I'm either going to do a tutorial video for this, or I'll write it up. I'm not sure which one. But yeah, how lovely is that? So that's the back. And then we have the right front. So yeah, it's going to be beautiful. So I only have to do the left front and then sew it up and then sleeves and it's done. So that could really be finished this week as well. It's just when I get so close to the end, I'm like, ah, oh, don't want to do it now. Whereas that should be the time where you're like, yeah, let's get it done. No. It's just like that chill day jacket I didn't sew the ends in. I sewn most of the ends in. I should have just pushed for it. It would have taken me 10, 15 minutes to finish it. But I was like, nah, I can't bother now. So <laughs> why not just finish it? Right, so this one I'm making, um, oh, did I tell you what this wool was? Well, this cotton. So it's Aishan's again, natural cotton baby, in green weight. I love this natural cotton baby stuff. It is too good. The market bag that I designed, that's made out of that as well. I was holding two strands together. I love working with it. So this is another Aishan's. <laughs> you tell I love Aishan's. So this is um, Summer Rose and it's a fine weight yarn, 100% acrylic in rose. I love the sheen on it, it's so beautiful. Actually that'll look nice what I'm wearing today. So the top that I'm making, well that's all I've done on it. But I am making this same top that I'm wearing today. This one, the Leafy Leaf Tank. So yeah, just wearing a white tank underneath to go in my outfit. It looks nice. And then there's the picture in the book. And yeah, it's also done on the front cover. So it's my crochet closet. It's got 22 gorgeous designs in here. I love this book. I've made this pattern. I think this is the fourth, the fourth or fifth of this top that I've made now. I love it. And you know me, as soon as I love making something, I will make a million of them. I don't care. If I like the pattern, I like the pattern and I want to keep working it because I find it fun. See, that's what I've done on this up to now. So I just need to start the boldy. The boldy. So yeah, it'll look nice. It'll look alright. What next? I feel like I'm missing something as well. I am, I'm missing something. So I another chill day jacket and I don't see it. Right, so this is Ribena Berry socks that I'm making. This is yarn that I dyed myself. Um, and this is a made up pattern as well. I love it. I mean, how nice is that yarn? The colours in it. Beautiful. I need to try and recreate this, but it was made a couple of years ago and I didn't take notes. So... I doubt I can even come close to that again, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's it, cake top. And I've started the second one. Using my trusted 9 inch circulars, I love these. I'm using the Knit, Picks, uh, Knit Pro Nova. 2.25mm. What else? Right, so these are some really old projects now. Why is that like a chill day one though? Need to have a quick look. I really don't like the fact that I've lost that. I don't know where I put it. 
But I've done the two hexagons. Um, I just need to sew them together, like salt the sleeves and then sew the two side pieces together. And I'm doing it in this ice magic light. So it's like the salmon, camel, cream colourway. 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 360 metres. I love this stuff. I love um, Ice Magic Light. It's one of my favourites. And I'm going to get some for my birthday. I just keep looking at this one and I'm like, I know I'm using it for that jacket. I just love looking at all the colour swirls and everything. So yeah. That's what I'm making it in. If I can find it, I'll finish it. I really don't know where it's gone. So this one was the one that I was making for my mum for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is gone, but we didn't get to see each other because of the lockdown. So we are going to redo Mother's Day at some point this year. She's making me a top. She's crocheting me a top and I'm crocheting her this one. So this is done using Penguin Natural Cotton. 100% cotton and so up to now I've got this it's just simple v-stitch so like a vest top and then with this extra arm bit there that way and I'm going to do this a bit longer so it's like a t-shirt so yeah this is going to be for her I'm not sure that this is going to fit because my mum likes things like this will fit her but she likes things with a bit of extra give. So I think I'm going to have to make another one. Um, another size up. But. Because I started this a while ago. And I didn't take notes. I don't know what I did. Because I was making this up as I went along as well. So yeah. I think that's why I've not picked that up again. Because I know that I might need to do another one up. Well I need to do another one anyway. I want to give her the choice of two. Like she can you know touch it feel it see what she thinks um but because i know that i've got to do another i've not finished this one and i've got to like figure out what i did and it just seems like a lot of work so i've not picked that one up again i have to remind my mum actually not to watch this video because it shows that she's very good at um not watching things if it's got something for her on it Right, so I have a load of this wool in here. So this is Mayflower by Hobbit, cotton four ply, 100% organic. And I started to do a top, I think it's like a mandala top, but this kind of design style. But the front part has got um, like a mandala motif. And I did start to do it and I hated it. So that's gonna like go around the sleeves. And I hated it, so I just left it in there. I thought if I leave it in there, I can pick it up another day. But now I'm just like, I really don't want to. So I have all of this in there that I need to get out, sort out, and all that. I have been doing squares, just with leftover yarn. So I've just got like different granny squares. Because what else are you going to do with like the little fiddly bits that are left over? Might as well do something. And then, last but not least, I have... So the Jolly Jumper that I made, the pattern is on my shop in the description down below. I made, um, well a Jolly Jumper, I just said that didn't I? So I was doing another variation of it. I wanted to do one longer because it's a short jumper. It's not exactly crop, but it's not full length either. So I was doing a bigger one. So this is the front. So I was doing it like really over, really loose, but also I was going to sew up at the sides, but then leave like a flap, a part in, you know, between the front and the back. So this is done in Stylecraft, I think Twilight it's called. I don't have the ball band, there's no ball band in this. Yeah, Stylecraft Twilight and it's beautiful. Look at the glitz and the glam on that. So I've done the front. Yeah, 
Done the back. It just needs sewing together and the sleeves in, you know, the edging. That is it. But for this one, I wasn't being laser. For this one, all the black and then the glitz, it was hurting my eyes. It was making my head bad. So that's why I stopped that. But now, I didn't write down what hook I was using. <laughs> so now I don't know what hook I need to do the sleeves with. So now I'm going to have to guesstimate. <laughs> yeah, I've since started keeping a notepad, like writing down what projects I'm working on with the hook. Nothing else, just the project and the hook because anything else you can figure out really right and that is it i'm bummed that i can't show you that um the other chill day that i'm working on but i think that's enough projects for now anyway isn't it i mean that is a whole heap of projects and i have some yarn coming um i ordered some yarn from kimberly so that should come soon, so I'm going to make more things with that because I want to use it straight away. I've got some really nice colours. So when that comes, I will do another video and I will show you. So what else? What else? I did, um, I did a vlog. I nearly called it a daily vlog again and I don't vlog every day, so it's not a daily vlog. But I did do a vlog of my day, the day before yesterday. So that's up in my other channel and the link will be down below too. Gonna have a lot of links down below. I'm talking a lot about links down below. Um yeah, so that was pretty fun to make. I've not done one for ages and I really enjoyed it. I don't know why I stopped. I think though sometimes I just get kind of flustered. I get overwhelmed, you know, with social media and then I take long break and I shouldn't I shouldn't, I should keep my watch time up on both channels, but hey, I don't know. Sometimes I just like to shut myself away in a little box and not do anything, not watch anyone, not participate <laughs> in life, <laughs> in the world around me. I just don't participate. But yeah, I need to get out of that. And I am trying. It's like I did a live yesterday and it lasted an hour and eight minutes and that was really fun usually i get so scared like today before making this video i got so scared like i don't know i'm not scared but just nervous and oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> but i've been doing these for four years now i've had this channel for four years so i don't know why i still get like that i guess it's just like my personality but yeah and i'm even worse with lives because i feel like i can't carry a conversation i don't know what to say but my confidence is growing and I can tell that by um, by the live yesterday. I don't know, I found it okay to carry the conversation. I think the people that were on the live as well, I don't know, I really enjoyed. I really liked the people who were on the live yesterday. Um, yeah. And we didn't just talk about yarn yeah, stuff, we talked about gaming and things like that. I don't know, it was just... It was nice not to like stick to the one topic. Uh, yeah, but on some of my videos, like one I did when I was showing a pair of socks, I think it was last week or the week before, it was like three minutes long and that was like my really nervous time because I just have to get on and get off quickly and at least I've done it and I don't care how short the time is, I've done it and it's fine and you know, <laughs> my jitters were up high that day. like. No, it's kind of nerve-wracking standing in front of the camera or sitting in front of the camera rather so that's my personal goal to try and I don't know make that a bit easier for myself I think that's one of the reasons why I started doing YouTube because I didn't do anything I wouldn't I didn't even want to go to the shop I didn't want to leave the house like just any kind of any form of socializing and I'm not like a mean person where I just want to ignore people I have to chat and you know, I'm engaged in the conversation, but then it drains me. Like when I went to college, um, instead of doing the home study, and I actually physically went into the college, and then the next day I felt like I couldn't do anything. I was just so drained with the amount of people that you talk to in the conversation, and I find, I do find socialising very tiring and very draining on my spirit, which is really weird. So I'm trying to push myself 
trying to push myself in YouTube has helped me with that. I think especially this year. Yeah, this year I've I've been pushing myself a bit more. See, that's all right. Now I think I need to see who's turning my phone now. It's just so many messages. I bet none of them are important. Do, 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 do. <laughs> my friend. Morning sister, hope you're okay. I'm craving for a sponge cake. Can you bake me one? <laughs> And just the heatwave health warning that the newspaper has sent us. So yeah, I think that's it then. I think I better start baking a sponge cake. Actually I'll see if the shop has the sugar. We can't get past the sugar. I've not been able to get past the sugar for two and a half months. So I'll have to see if I can get that. It was flour, I can get the flour now, it's the sugar. I've got a food processor though, I suppose I could just put granulated in the food processor and grind it down a bit. Yeah, I'll probably give that a go. And get some of these projects finished. I want to get at least one finished today. I want those socks finished by Friday because I want to put the pattern in the shop on Friday. It's already written up. Um, yeah. Being... Um, edited as this thick so then when that comes back I'll just need to add there's a big fly buzzing around <laughs> there's a big kid upstairs <laughs> um, I'll just need to add the photos once I've ta taken the photos so yeah I'm going to go see if my friend can pick up my mum and bring her down here today that'll be good Okie dokie then, <laughs> I'm going off into my own little world now. Alright, so everyone have a great day, enjoy the sun, don't get burnt, be safe you and sensible. You scared me so bad. You scared me so bad with your bounce, Mr Elephant Feet. No, it wasn't that, I was watching the scariest videos on YouTube, yeah? One freak scared me so much that I pushed my desk on the wrong with my computer on it by accident. Oh, don't watch videos it, like it, that because it, if you break your computer, I'll break into you, man. It, I'll break it, into It like, so scared me. Okay, but well, don't watch videos like that, okay? Or like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I, I just keep the desk down. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Right, go away. I keep got no the desk on. That Shift your booty. He gets all sorts of little things though. He loves watching prank videos like these teens pranking each other. And there's one where, um, so he walks into an elevator and I think they were twins pranking each other. It must have been in their early 20s or something. And he had like something over his face and he was stood like, you know, one of them doormen in posh places. So the twin go, the other twin goes, can you push number five for me? So he didn't do anything, he just stood there like a mannequin. So he did it himself, and then the elevator started moving, or the lift started moving, and then the light turned off. And all you could hear was this guy screaming and screaming, so um, the lift stopped on the roof, like, and he ran to, and um, there's like this door thing with, I don't know, it's like a, um, a box room or something on top of the roof, and he tried trying to jump onto it, and he couldn't do it. <laughs> The other drink came out going, it's only me, it's only me, but he didn't take the thing off, so the guy was still screaming, I mean, obviously it's all staged, but your man got so scared at that. <laughs> Whereas me and us, man, we found it hilarious, it was a funny thing. But yeah, he's not watching real horror things, he's just, he's a sensitive child. He really is. Right, where's my remote? I don't know. So I'm going to go. <laughs> I said that before, didn't I, until I was deserved. Be safe, have a great day, happy crafting, and thank you for joining me. Bye.